Soy Shelian y estoy aquí con el Furnace Falcon Weekly News. Hoy es viernes 18 de marzo del 2022. ¡Feliz primavera! Esta semana será nuestro último anuncio semanal. The Falcon Show se estrenará el lunes 18 de abril. Gracias a los espectadores por mirarnos, apoyarnos y suscribirse al Furnace Falcon TV. Y ahora volvamos a nuestro último programa semanal. Nuestro equipo de noticias representa muchos idiomas. Puedes verlos en asesoría o en el canal de YouTube Falcon TV. Nuestra cita de la semana. Cada nuevo comienzo viene del final de algún otro comienzo de Seneca. Tenemos a la señora San de Chop aquí con nosotros para compartir algunos consejos. Good morning, Falcon students. I am George Gallardo and this is Jakara Johnson here with the interview with Sam from Chop. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Um, we'll be asking you some questions. So, um, what is your area of expertise of the health field? Well, uh, my area of expertise is mainly uh, like sexual health and reproductive health. Um, so I talk about anything that has to do with sex, whether that be um, any sort of uh, sex between people, um, whether that be abstinence, whether that be uh, healthy relationships, consent, um, anything that has to do with sex that you can think of, STIs, protection, birth control, uh, pregnancy tests, anything like that, that's my area of expertise. So I'm here uh, for any conversation that has to do with that. I'm also here for uh, free resources, uh, free and confidential resources that students can use um, to get tested for pregnancy, STI, get protection, anything like that. Um, why did you choose this study? Yeah, so that's also a really good question. Um, so I chose sex ed because I think sex is really, really important. Unfortunately, we definitely do not talk about sex enough in society in general. Um, it's definitely like a taboo topic. But the truth is, in order to learn about something, you have to talk about it. You have to uh, make it a little bit more open. Um, and that's what I try to do. I think sex is really, really important to talk about um, in order for people to feel comfortable with their bodies, to feel comfortable sharing them with other people. Um, it's really, really important to talk about it uh, so that it's done safely, uh, comfortably, and uh, communicatively. That's not really a word, but I'm going to make it a word today. What do you love about Furnace High School? I love Furnace High School. <laughs> I have so much fun here. Um, everyone that I've met so far has been extremely kind and welcoming. Um, and everyone has really, really taken advantage of the services. And it's been so fun to get to know people. Um, I love my, my regulars here who come in and chat with me every once in a while. Um, and yeah, I've just been, I've been having a ton of fun here. It's just a really, really nice community. I really like it. How is your job important to students at our school? My job is important to students here, but also kind of to everyone. <laughs> um, talking about sex and uh, having safe sex and learning how to have safe sex is really, really important. Um, also, learning what abstinence is, um, valuing abstinence and just talking about sex in general and just like getting a better understanding. It's a really, really important thing in order to, like I said, to have communicative sex um, and to not have communicative sex, just to be able to understand our bodies a little bit more and get more in touch with ourselves um, so that in the future, if we're ever looking to be sexually active, if we're doing it safely and comfortably. Um, what is some advice you would give to students uh, um, regarding sex health? Be open. Being open is such a hugely important part of sex ed in general. Um, because it's such an uncomfortable topic, it's really, really important to be open, especially about sexuality in general, or just like getting a better understanding of ourselves and just wanting to try something new. Um, talking about sex is hard, but uh, being open to do to doing exactly that is um, is a huge part of just like of starting to take those steps in life and, and growing when it comes to that. So it's really, really important to just be open um, and come ask the questions that you want to ask. It's really, really important that your questions get answered, and that's what I'm here to do. If students are having conflicted um, sexual orientation, what advice would you give them? That's also a really important question. I really like these questions. Um, if you're feeling at all conflicted or just want to learn more about yourself in a sexual orientation way or just like gender identity or whenever, whatever happens with that, um, it's really important to talk to someone about it and to learn how you can uh, get a better understanding of that. Um, and another really great way to do that is surround yourself uh, by people who are understanding of that and who are wanting to lift you up and support you in that way. Um, it's really, really important and quite a beautiful thing when you get to know yourself a little bit better and understand 
understand what your wants, needs, loves are in life. Um, and that's and gender identity and sexual identity is a huge, huge part of that. Um, so I can always help you with that, but also surrounding yourself by uh, people who can lift you up and understand that. And uh, also people who might be experiencing the same thing is a really, really good way to do that. If a student wants to talk to you, how do they contact you? When is the best time? Thank you so much. Um, you can always text me. So I have a phone. Um, you can text or call me. Um, it's 267-602-4202. Pretty sure it's going to be on the screen, probably right here. So you can always text me. You can make an appointment with me. I am at Furness High School from 8 to 4 on Monday, 8 to 12 on Thursday, and 8 to 4 on Friday. Um, and you can make an appointment with me at any point during that time. Um, all you have to do is text me and ask me. Um, or you could just walk right in. Just make sure you have a pass if you're going to do that. That's really, really important. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to talk to you all. I'm really, really excited to learn more about you all. Um, and feel free to come in anytime. I'm excited. Thanks. Um, thank you for your time. And it was a pleasure interviewing you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being interviewed by all of you. Thank you. Thank you. I really wow. appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Gracias, señora San. Furness organizará una semana Spring Spirit del lunes 21 de marzo a viernes 25 de marzo. Consulta el folleto para obtener más información. Para estudiantes bilingües, ya está aquí las reuniones grupales bilingües. El propósito es hablar sobre sus necesidades en su idioma natal. Pregúntale a la señora Lorch en el salón 215A o envíele un correo electrónico si tiene alguna pregunta. Si te gusta correr, únete al Furnace Running Club. Cambian su rutina cada semana y exploran diferentes partes de la ciudad. Pronto se estarán preparando para carreras profesionales como la Broad Street Run. Cualquiera puede unirse. Reúnase con ellos en el Salón 309 después de la escuela los miércoles. Seniors, si perdieron la oportunidad de desayunar el lunes pasado, no se preocupen. Lo tenemos cubierto. Miss Keating, Miss Davis, wave. Gracias. Los seniors tienen grandes cosas guardadas. El baile de graduación y la graduación llegarán pronto. En nuestro programa de noticias nuevo y mejorado, puede esperar ver segmentos más largos de sus estudiantes favoritos de Furness brindándonos noticias sobre lo que les interesa. Estamos informando sobre eventos deportivos, actividades comunitarias, películas, comida y cultura. Si tiene alguna idea, Puede enviar un correo electrónico a la doctora Davis o al señor So. También puede pasar por el IMC los martes, miércoles y jueves después de la escuela. Emocionantes noticias deportivas. El 24 de marzo habrá un torneo de baloncesto March Madness para apoyar a Furnace Falcon Athletics. Reúna un grupo de 5 a 6 de sus amigos y regístrese para competir. El torneo se desarrollará desde el aviso hasta el final del día. El costo es de $3 por jugador. Para inscribirse, ve a la señora Hanna y a la señora Esposito en el gimnasio de Mifflin Street o al señor Dicicio en el gimnasio de McKean Street. La fecha límite para inscribirse es el 21 de marzo al final del día. Estudiantes, ¿necesita ayuda con la tarea? La zona de tareas continúa de lunes a jueves desde las 2 y 40 pm hasta las 3 y 40 pm. Obtén toda la ayuda que necesites. Recuerda venir a la escuela vestido apropiadamente. Recibirá detención si no está vestido apropiadamente. Asegúrese de seguirnos en Facebook, Twitter, Instagram y consulte información valiosa en nuestro sitio web furnace.filas.org. Nuestros sitios web también ofrecen un anuncio semanal en YouTube en muchos idiomas. Gracias por ver el anuncio de esta semana. No olvides recargar tu cuerpo, mente y Chromebooks antes de venir a la escuela. Nos vemos el próximo mes.